Welcome to the second segment of Bad Hair Day with your hosts, Brianna and Jamie. As we said before, in this segment, we are going to be talking... Oh, I said that really fast. Give me a second. <coughs> in this segment, we are going to be talking about Wow, her recent mm-hmm. wedding, a special announcement from her, and Lady Gaga. So, to start, I'm going to talk about Wow because Wow and Snooki are two of my many, many favorite people in the world. Wow and Roger have finally gotten married after getting engaged back in 2012. They were joined by former Jersey Shore co-stars, as well as their closest and dearest family and, fr- family and friends. They've been together for about five years. They recently celebrated their fifth anniversary. And Jenny recently wrote on her website that Roger is the perfect man in every way. And he is the best daddy to Milani I, that I could ever ask for. He accepts me in every way, and I am more in love with him than ever. The couple also kept a very special secret to themselves until the wedding reception. The couple revealed that they are now expecting their second child together. No one in attendance was aware of this announcement other than their publicist, of course, and Melani's nanny, who I assume got a big raise when she got that announcement. Of course. (laughs) The reactions, as expected, were priceless, and everyone is overjoyed, ecstatic, everything you could think of. That's really... Um, I like the way they announced it though because they mm-hmm. kind of they kind of kept it to themselves and then just revealed it at the wedding. That's really it must have been really shocking for their guests. I know, and that was just a really nice way of. And the way that they announced it, um, actually, I know you don't know, so I'm just gonna tell you because I was very happy about this. Um, Roger actually announced that he was giving a little speech. He pressed the button and this banner came down with a picture of Melani that said, "I'm going to be a big sister." And it said um, May 2016. Wow. So I guess that's her her due date, yeah. due month. Cause it's not so how date. far along is she now? Five months until May from mm-hmm. January and then two. So she's like four months. Mm-hmm. Not four months. She's like less two than months. four months. Two months. Two months. So she probably just found out. Maybe that's one of the reasons that no one else knew. Yeah. yeah. They probably found out like a week before the wedding and were like, oh my God, let's just keep this a secret that's so that everyone perfect. finds out. Yeah. Because I feel like she, if she would have been farther along, it would have been harder for them to keep mm-hmm. it a secret and then wait till the wedding. But anyways. I wonder if they were trying for a baby. Hmm. Because I I don't think they were trying to have Melani. Mm-hmm. But I feel like once they had her, they were so like in love with her and all over her that maybe they were trying, but I don't think that they were. Because she never... She's done interviews since Melanie was born, and she never gave any sort of notice to it. I feel like maybe, like, I'm taking a guess here, but I feel like maybe they weren't trying. And then, because you, you said, I remember you telling me how they were planning the wedding, and then mm-hmm. she had, they had to postpone it because of they had their daughter. So I feel like now maybe they weren't trying, and then they just found they're like, okay, great! Yay, we're excited! <laughs> it's finally timed mm-hmm. right. Because they've been together for a very long time. They've been engaged for three years. Um... First, they postponed their wedding because they were having issues, but they were like, we're not going to break up because we're in love. And then they were like, well, we're moving. We can't get married right now. And then they went to couples counseling and then she got pregnant Mm -hmm. and she was like, well, I'm not getting married anytime soon. I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. So I feel like they were probably kind of ecstatic when they found out with like enough time to still have the wedding Mm -hmm. so that she didn't have to be like, oh, God happening again <laughs> yeah it was really it was the, the timing worked out perfectly mm-hmm. though so anyway speaking of weddings lady gaga as we all know is engaged to taylor kinney uh he proposed to her this past valentine's day after dating for four years they haven't set a specific date for the wedding however because they both have been busy this past year um and the way they met it was, it's kind of cute actually they met on the set of her music video uh you and i and it was not love at first sight. Um, when they started rolling, he kissed her and caught her off guard. So she slapped him and they had to stop filming. And then when they did it again, he kissed her again. And she didn't slap him that time. And then they kept in contact. And after a while, they began dating. And um, she also plays the, the Countess on American Horror Story Hotel. So Kenny told Us Weekly that after seeing the sex scene in the first episode, that it was awkward because he was sitting next to her father during the premiere. And I was reading the article from this website and, and he was just saying how they were both like, oh, good, good job, honey. Like, you were great. <laughs> and it, was, it must have been really weird for him just seeing her with another guy, especially like so mm-hmm. naked. And that, and this has been a, a big year for Lady Gaga because uh, she, well, these past two years, 
Um, in 2014, she and Tony Bennett released an album called Cheek to Cheek. It's actually like a jazz album. And then right now she's working on her upcoming solo album, which will be released sometime in 2016. And um, I read an article that said about how the sound was going to be completely different from what she had done before. So I'm really excited to see what it's going to be like. She's also going to do going to release another album with Tony. Tony, And this is going to be um, all of uh, Cole Porter's songs classics i think i don't know i don't know any songs by him but i'm excited because it's lady gaga <laughs> i am so excited i feel like this past year or two people have finally started to take her seriously yeah i feel like for a very long time she had this reputation of being outrageous and being all over the place and being basically a hot mess whenever i would tell people that i was a fan of lady gaga they would just make fun of me to no end like oh, you like lady gaga that's so funny that's so sad oh my god ew she's so weird like that but I just I've always seen her and I'm like here's like this person that I look up to and she's not afraid to be herself like no matter how many how much hate she gets how much people think she's weird or whatever she's still herself and she she is pretty weird but she's not afraid to like be like here I am and I'm weird and I'm crazy and this is me and I'm, I love that about her I'm weird and I'm proud mm -hmm. I feel like one of the reasons that she was weird when she was because she was first starting and she wanted to make a name for herself and she wanted people to know who she was and know that she could do all these sorts of different things but i feel like now her style has gotten more refined i mm -hmm. guess is the right word and she's really just kind of been able to pull everything together and calm down in a sense like she finally found her thing her style mm -hmm. her look her identity almost, and then she's sticking with it. And I think she's so beautiful and elegant. And every time I see her, like like pictures from a red car carpet, I'm like, yes, yes, Lady Gaga, you look perfect. People can't really make fun of her because no. I remember a time like five or six years ago when every celebrity was doing weird and crazy things. Mm -hmm. And every celebrity, whether you were Kesha, Nicki Minaj, Lady Gaga, anyone, like literally every single person, was wearing bright pink wigs and showing up in the most outrageous dress and outfit they could find. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Like, it wasn't just Lady Gaga. Maybe she did things differently or she did took things a step further, but she grew up with everyone else. There was just mm -hmm. this time period where it was a competition to be as outrageous and insane and crazy as you yeah. could be. And also, as an artist, she's incredibly talented. I'm... I love her voice. She's got like one of the most amazing voices that I've heard. So I really like the way she sings. I think she has a really strong voice and just um, her music is kind of unique in a way that I, I really like. I really enjoy. So I feel like she's one of those people that she can kind of do anything with her voice. Mm -hmm. She really can do. Soul. She's really talented. She can do a lot of different things without much effort in mm -hmm. a way. I feel like she's always just been very talented and very creative it's just people didn't take her seriously because mm -hmm. they thought she was another hot mess walking the red carpet in a meat dress yeah yeah my parents were just like oh this lady gaga person is so weird and they didn't like her and then my dad heard one of her songs bad romance mm -hmm. bad romance a few years ago and he was like this song is great and i was like it's lady gaga and he was like oh really okay that's my new girlfriend like, now okay, lady okay, gaga I and i was like i'm okay with that i'm okay with that he suddenly gets it. he's like oh all right i get it good job congratulations and then when he never he would hear her on the radio he'd be like oh it's lady gaga we have to listen guys <laughs> everyone get cool. everyone shut up <laughs> and it was my really girl is weird on because my dad liked her songs and you like her songs and i like her songs so that's your girl and his girl you have to share yeah we have to share unfortunately oh, but i mean it worked out it worked out um, I think we are going to take a little break, even though it's a little early in the segment, a little early in the show. But when we get back, we are going to be talking about our favorite people oh, in the world. Oh, yes. Which you can probably guess, but still, Spoiler we're going to pretend it's a secret. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> 